Player 2, press start! Hi everyone and welcome back to Player 2 Press Start. Last time on Earthbound, we took some acid and went through Moonside. We also broke a very precious... Broke the shit Benson. out of that statue. God. And now... I gotta take this. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, it's Apple Kid. Coming up with that wacky invent. Wacky, wailing, inflatable arm and flailing tuba! I can't do it. It's called the Gourmet <laughs> Ogre Machine. It That's makes many great. different flavors. I'm so glad you made yogurt for me. That's exactly what I need on my adventure. Ooh, trout trout flavored. flavored yogurt. Sounds very typical and normal. He's have an Escargo Express deliver it neglected class. Hopefully we'll get there soon. Yeah, everything is... <laughs> uh, I've got some problems here. I gotta go by. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's continue our search for Paula. And... Oh, there's a monkey in you. Oh, that's... Uh. All over the wall, huh? Uh, no, actually, anyway. you're supposed to talk to him. But we're not going. To. Yeah, no. <laughs> and you have to to progress the story, but you can actually, he'll stay there the entire time. You can even leave Foreside, go somewhere else, and he'll still be there. Go shopping. But now she's also here as well. I kept asking around for trout flavored yogurt, but oh, oh, really? Interesting. I think I know where to get some, uh, some of that. Wasn't there a monkey that just teleported? And yeah. Well, I mean, you're supposed to talk to him first, and you'll see why in a moment. I just wanted to show you that she's actually there already. Wait, is it up here? Right? Yeah. All right, monkey. I mean, it's, God, you look so happy, even though you blew up. <laughs> I'm not a delivery man. Uh, excuse me. I'm. Cool kill. You're kind of on fire and stuff, but are you delivery man? <laughs> Tolerama. All right, well, what he's talking about is that hole in the dusty dune desert with the monkey in front of it that I said was a waste of time is now where we're destined to go. Yeah, it's not the big hole, it's the small hole. The small hole. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Wow, they can teleport. <laughs> Forgot he hit something first. Whoa, what's, you guys see that monkey? Crash. Oops. Crunch. Uh, Oops. Uh, uh, uh. Greetings, it's Escargo Express Neglected Class. Oh, this dude's delivering it. There was a sunbathing guy. guy. Which oh, saw. yeah, he was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> they say, well, you didn't, I, you didn't uh, leave with that, dude, did you? So you forgot it? Some... Yeah, it was my machine, dude. And you found it in the... De what? Oh, c come on, dude. Yeah, it's mine. You know what? Dude, bro, no tip for you. How about that? I don't think he expected one. It's yeah. neglected class, yeah, you, dude. You get out of here. Oh, and look at who it is. Hello. Oh, I heard us talking about that, huh? The trap play for you for a special guest. I wonder who that guest is. I've been searching and searching. What fat son of a bitch would like trout flavored yogurt? <laughs> Probably some uh, kid that would kick you out of his office with his two hitmen bodyguards if you talk to him. That same kid apparently said, hmm, I want some trout flavored yogurt. So I guess we gotta go find the trout flavored yogurt in the desert. What so, kind of twisted mind would actually want trout flavored I don't know. yogurt? But we gotta head back to that hole with the monkey, but first we're gonna stop at the drugstore, and you'll see why in a moment. So we'll see you guys there. Alrighty, we're here in the drugstore, and we wanna pick up two things before we head to that hole, just to make life way easier. First is a picnic lunch, and yes, you can carry that. And we're also going to get a skip sandwich. Mm-hmm. And we'll give to Ness. Thank you. Nope, that's much. it. Now, off screen, we sold a few things just to make some inventory room because we're gonna need it. Um, just like a, it was a secret herb and Ness's great charm that was left over. And most importantly, we got Escargo Express to give us the pencil eraser mm -hmm. there. Yes, most important. You'll be kicking yourself in the head if you do not do that. So to avoid head concussions, please. <laughs> yeah, to avoid concussness. And you want to destroy moles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is correct. Let's head to this hole. Uh, he just says welcome, so I'm not going to talk to that monkey. Mm -hmm. But if we yeah. tried to come here before, it would have been blocked off. But this oh, is God, the smart. monkey caves. And since we killed Trillion Age Sprout, they're scared of us, which is going to make this... I don't want to call it a dungeon. I want to call that an interesting touch. Yeah. That they added those. But now here's the deal with this this place, this monkey cave, is you're going to be talking to these monkeys. I want to eat a picnic lunch. Oh, it just so happens I picked one of those up. But you want to give them the item they want and they'll move out of the way. We're just well, trying to, well, okay. try to move out of the way. Yeah, they just send it to like a random path after you give it to them. Yeah. But uh, you want to work your way down and it's just a bunch of trading and stuff. I used to hate this area when I was a kid. But, um, yeah. Now you want to pick up the picnic lunch and the skip sandwich because every other item you're going to need, you'll find in this cave. 
Uka Nuki. Uka Nuki, get out of my way. I'm not upset to a random Thank movement. You. I can't do anything about it. It's horrible. I hate it. Yeah. Um, all right. Pizza? I want to say another pizza? Whoa. Yeah. All right. Cool pizza. Now, this next monkey's going to give us a fresh egg, which, you know, it can turn into a chick, so you want to make your way through here pretty quickly. Dragon. Dragonite, eh? This is a Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon! Give me an egg. Yeah, he'll keep giving you eggs and stuff, but since I kind of know where I'm going, sort of, uh, I'll hopefully get to that area before that egg turns into a chick. Mm. But I used to hate this when I was younger. I mean, uh, you want a wet towel, which I'm not going to give you. I used to hate it because I would actually buy all of these items ahead of time. I would look at my player's guide, you know, and just waste a ton of money and also a bunch of inventory yeah, space. It really just feels like one of those time sink kind of areas of the game. And those are always just annoying. You don't want to play them. What do you mean time sink? It's just there to mainly waste your time. It's not, oh, yeah. This no. is really, yeah, this really serves absolutely no point. <laughs> right, it's just a extra time padding. And I, I feel like one of the biggest modern games of this, and the biggest defender, I mean, yeah, is definitely pizza. Skyward Sword. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he actually speaks to you in English first. Whoops. Before we're going to monkey gibberish. Yeah, I got a pizza. There you go. Great pizza time. Pizza time. Eat your pizza over there. Gotta eat your pizza time. Yeah. Great, great song. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, what do you? Oh, ooh, magic oh, butter. Ooh, the magic butterfly. Um, I think we want to go. Actually, I think he's gonna ask for a hamburger, and we don't want to do that yet. Yeah, let's get to the point. Give me a hamburger. We also can't get through that other hole, so I actually went too far. Whoa. <laughs> little close. You almost encountered an enemy that you've killed several times. I'll kill you several times. I How know, that's that? why I'm like. <laughs> staying I just away so from happen you. I do have one. Go out of my way, fool. Blacky! Whatever that means. There we go. And this should be burger time. Yep. Awesome. Nice. I kind of know where I'm going. This is actually interesting. <laughs> and we made it. This is the egg, dude. Meow, what? Strange chatter. What's strange chattering for a monkey? Yes, please, please take this egg for me before it hatches and turns into a chick. And subsequently a chicken. Yeah, now, I mean, this is just, you, you don't even need to go this way. Uh, it's just an interesting item. I don't really even use it. But it's the neutralizer. It's neutralizer, yes. And it's, it cancels PSI effects. So if they have, like, offense up or something like that, the enemy, it'll get rid of that. Now, I think she wants a ruler which I don't have for you right now. Mm. So we have to head all the way back to the wet towel monkey, mm. which is near the beginning of the cave. So mm. let's get there as soon as we can. I fucking hate this place. This, yeah. As you said, it's a waste of time. It's just a time sink. It's exactly, it's a Skyward Sword. If you go play Skyward Sword, it's gonna be this. If anyone can think of a good reason for this area, please let us know, because I, I can't. They're introducing the concept of wasting your goddamn time. Whoa, family restaurant, bro. What? No, that's, that's perfectly acceptable <laughs> in any family restaurant, especially... I can't say goddamn. Well, usually, what, towel? He's a dry monkey. Sure you can. I'm gonna make him a wet it's monkey. PG. Just can't say the F-bomb. You fuck. No! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. We hey. just lost a few viewers. Oh, come on, guys. Move. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> you said move, and they actually got out of the way. That's what they do. That's and what. what's in this one? A ruler! Oh! Oh! I know someone who needs a ruler. Too bad we don't have a protractor, too. Am I right? Now, how many burgers do I have right now? Um, hmm. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. We can we can get rid of both these guys. Both of them are going to want hamburgers. I was trying to think when you get the third hamburger in here, and it shouldn't screw us up. So, yeah, there you go. Hamburger. And these guys are guarding two amazing items, so you wanna, you definitely wanna <laughs> give them the hamburgers. Yeah, dude, the other one got one, you can have a hamburger too. Yeah, oh, come on, I was gonna go on the left one first. Too bad. Socks for you. Wow, flame, flame pendant. pendant. Great Gorgeous. item. Flame oh, pendant. I'll probably be giving it to Jeff or something like that. What Gives you a here? good chunk of, well, let's see, broken two. Broken two. Well, yeah, Ness can hold on to it for now. I'm not going to go through the items. The broken tube turns into a hungry HP sucker, I want to say. So that's kind of useful. Uh, we'll, we'll use it a little bit to show it to you guys. But the flame pendant, 
Uh, yeah, we got the ruler, so we want to go to ruler chick. But the flame pendant gives you some defense, and it also it lowers fire damage by a lot. You only get hit by fire attacks for like seven or something like that when they have it equipped. Did I go too far? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Skip sandwich, dude. Yeah. Man, so this episode is actually dragging on a little bit, but we're gonna finish this stupid place. Let's we're almost done. Go <clears throat> this way, I think. Yeah, we're almost down there. We gotta find ruler monkey chick. And then we'll pretty much be good. Okay, good. That was egg dude. And this is ruler chick. I want to measure something, huh? Maybe you want to measure something long on a monkey? Mm. Yeah, I'll give you one. I'll show you something to measure. Your tail. Ha <laughs> 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 oh, I didn't think I was gonna say that, did ya? Oh, no. What? You've not? No, I haven't heard of it, I guess. Why? <laughs> you haven't heard of that? I'll give you something then, since you're so dumb. No, you're not attractive. You're a monkey. You know, this whole situation just completely ridiculous. Like, why are these monkeys in caves and just guarding doors? I think they're kind of making fun of RPGs in that way. Saying like, oh, oh yeah, this, you know what, maybe. Oh, you just got to talk to people and move through rooms. This is what the bare thing of an <laughs> RPG is. Well, kind of. I guess, yeah. I don't know if anyone ever played uh, RPG Maker for PlayStation, but um, I'm sure a lot of people did. This guy needs a hamburger, I think. Yeah, probably. But I started making a Earthbound 2 game <laughs> oh in it, God. and uh, like I only got to the, I guess, shark area or whatever that I made. I, I called him the Sith <laughs> after. <laughs> yeah. What? But they're like Grim Reapers. But it's Sith with a Y, so it's okay. So it's okay. Well, they were like Grim Reaper enemies that were in the game, so I just kind of went with it. They but I actually had like a, I had a big monkey area made and designed, but oh, come on, guys. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh! Well, maybe we'll kill him? Okay, fine. Fuck this, skipping ahead! All right, we just ran from him to make it real quick. Yeah. we don't have the time? Whoa, it's a hamburger! You think you'd get less surprised since we've opened a bunch <laughs> of these? Do you like kids on Christmas? All right, here we go. Aren't you glad you got the pencil eraser? I sure am. I am. I used to come here all the time and I would forget the damn pencil eraser and just have to go all the way out of that stupid cave and go back and come all the way back down. But oh, here we go. I'm gonna ignore you guys and steal your stuff first. Cup of life noodles. Brain food lunch. Ooh. I want to make sure you have an open inventory space right now, which we don't. So let's just eat this picnic lunch. I know it was delicious. Yum. All right, so let's talk to this guy. The truth of space and time moves through the universe like a wave. Truth speaks through space and matter and makes itself known to human beings. I was waiting for you. Ah, uh, he just... you came. Here's his dog talking destiny gibberish. Yes. Oh, but he heals us. Apollo. What did he do? <laughs> what did you just do to us? You healed us and everything. You did... I don't want to think about it. You need not ask <laughs> what I did to you. Do you understand? It, it, it doesn't matter. You know what? Proceed as you wish. I don't care. Take my shit. Open the box. Just randomly. Yeah, someone someone threw this in the hole. That stupid nerdy dude with the glasses threw my yogurt dispenser in, in a hole. monkey hole. Now why did they they grabbed it and brought it all the way down here? Because they were they were gonna study the technology and learn how to, you know, create their own technology. Yeah. If you say no to him, he's just like, okay, well then get out of here and make sure you don't speak to the monkey. I see. Well then leave and never return. Just like that? Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Now I gotta get all the way hella out of here, but first thing I want to do is pick up one last item with that extra hamburger we just got, and then we'll get the hell out of here. So, he's right over here. Let's get to the point. Just yeah. Give me a goddamn hammer. And if you don't give it to me, he says shove off. I remember you. You're the dick monkey. I'm very grateful, though. Uh, yeah, you're grateful, but you get in my way. How did I... I even, didn't even look like I went through the hole there. Whoa! Oh, it's the bag of Dragon Knight! Da, 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 da. Extremely useful item, but we're gonna hold on to it until we really need it, and then we'll show it to you in battle. But uh, right now, we're gonna cut ahead to when we're out of the hole, so we'll see you guys in a moment. Oh, finally, fresh air doesn't smell like monkey feces anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow me! It's good you sure you're coming? Yeah. Oh, come on, mole dude, come on. Die! <laughs> he looked so happy until you smashed his face in with a bat. And oh, we love him. That's that's great. Cool. Who was that? I didn't even see. It was not Jeff. That's for sure. 
I think Jeff can fix one more thing when since his IQ is 30 he can fix something and then maybe it's 34 he can fix something else. We'll get into that in the next episode, but right now we gotta learn some teleportation skills. Can't be used in a room or underground though. Yeah. Now this is how good of a teacher he is. He just he just does it real quick. And then he, he comes back. <laughs> what if he didn't? <laughs> yeah, he just like I'm late, I'm vicious. <laughs> but he's such a good teacher. Okay, I showed you guys once. And uh you got the gist of Just it. Just do that and show it to me tomorrow, or else you're both fired. Oh, here we go, Jeff, run! Yeah, that just happens automatically, and ba-boom! We learned PSI teleportation. I get it. Which lets us visit any area, well, not any area, any town we've been in before. So, as you can see, meow. Oh. So, uh, next time on Player 2 Press Start, we're going to uh, utilize this new teleportation skill and uh, take care of some other stuff and continue our search for our long-lost companion. Oh, Paula, how we missed thee. Uh, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.